so he took me across the street. Wow. Dude. And the original show car was in the lobby. I'll never forget. It had roped off, but I was able to look in it with the flux capacitor and everything. Wow. And we got a popcorn and a Coke. I saw Back to the Future oh, dude, on 180 degree angle. That's screen. so cool. I'm sure oh, that just absolutely. Oh, when those flames. Dude. Oh, and he hit 88 miles. I'm getting bum, chills. Bum, he hit 88 miles an hour. Back in time. Oh, dun, 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 what an era. Back those, in time. <laughs> Yeah, Christ, it was, Scott. It was <laughs> so good. It was the coolest oh, thing. Yeah, man. I've, and that was one of the most impactful. Oh yeah, movies that I've ever seen. I mean, I was blown away. My mouth, I think, was open the entire film. I was like, I cannot believe I'm watching. That was nine. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. We're not working. We this is it. We we're are not working. Doing it. We're, we're not, doing we're not a working podcast. Today. What's no, wrong I'm with not you working. guys? Your brains aren't working. I am not fried. working. I'll, I'll lead this one, guys. Don't worry Uh-oh. about it. My brain. Oh, this God. is now Andy's podcast. <laughs> this pod is now fully operational. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a Sith Lord. Is it okay if I snooze during this one? Yeah. 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 What's up, guys? It might be better off if Matt snoozes. No, it's a little rainy. Is this the Brilliant it's Love a Pod? Tired. Is this the Brilliant Love Pod? Is it? Is the, the Bro Pod, baby. Where am I? The, the Pod Pod. The pod. pod. We are back. Pod, pod. I guess Happy Friday is in a order. Good foot. Happy Friday, everybody. Right? It's another Friday. Happy, uh, why do you guys sound so lethargic? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, my Friday, Lord. Everybody. I don't Andy, know about this you. Is, uh, no, Andy, this is your episode. We're going to set you up to succeed. Yep. I got a pep in my step today. Really? Did Good. a little yoga. I took a pep sit earlier. I have heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> I did a little Costanza. Costanza. I don't know what that. Yeah. What are you? Costanza. <laughs> you did you the mean Costanza in, from Seinfeld. No. I did the talking pep about the peptides. No. You did the a peptides. downward dog, a little triangle pose. Ah, oh, little reverse oh. warrior, little royal dancer. No, and I did some um tree. I did. Did tree. you do happy baby? No, I didn't. How, do long, happy did, happy how long? baby? Did you last yeah. with the um? My Ooh. ums, surprisingly, aren't... I mean, I thought I had a good lung capacity, yeah. but it turns out that the the you know the fellows that I yoga with... Sounds weird. Their lung capacities are... The fellas <laughs> Is it I just guys with? that you yoga with? No, Mary. The there's fellas, a woman. That's what I was about to say. I know the Mary. The fellas I like, yoga with. Mary. Well, the, the ladies, too. The yoga with. Fellas. The, 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 the yoga gang is... Yoga uh, I never heard it pronounced like... The, I uh, yoga with uh, a lot of people. <laughs> Uh, it sounds weird. <laughs> Never heard it said like that. It's it's not even See, the guys and gals thing. It's I'm just coining, the yoga with thing. I'm coining new of... things already. <laughs> I'm a um, um. I could keep going. I could too. I just want to, oh God. You sound like a, a mouth didgeridoo. <laughs> do you know what I do? Do you know what I do? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my, my, my own secret here, guys. What's your own secret? Because I know that it's a thing, whoever lasts the longest. Yeah. When everybody goes at the end, we're like, okay, let's do some, let's do our ohms, everybody. Right. And they said, they take their deep breath, they go, take your deep breath. Oh, I wait. Nice. Until, because everybody's oming, they don't know if you've started. Right. And then I come in halfway. Right. Oh, and then everybody's like, like out of breath, and I'm going, oh. This guy's lung capacity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a little vibrato. Right. Oh. At the end, you just put in a little riff at the end. No. <laughs> at the end, dude. Mariah Carey, the yoga. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, yoga's really centered me, guys. Has it? I feel in touch with my feelings. You were talking to me about something we came on the air. You said, do you ever feel like you failed or things you didn't get to? What were you saying? Yes. I said we should do something I said, Let's, like... I said, why don't we talk about our flaws? Why don't we peel it oh. back and expose ourselves? Peel it back like world. an onion. Have a good cry. Oh, God, sure, I you know, cry. Not regrets, but like, you know, the times in our careers... Well, we've come oh, close to something. Oh, close to something. But huh? haven't quite been able to pull it into fruition. Oh, or things that we got that we couldn't do. How about that? Mm. Or that. Oh, that's a little I've more. had a few of those. Oh. I like try not to think we... about things like that anymore. Let yeah. go of the near misses. I used to think about that a lot. Yeah. But now I'm like, why dwell on that? Yeah. Because I think that's only going to prevent anything good in the future from coming in. Well, it does. They say if you dwell on the past, right, it, it, it creates... 
um, feelings of remorse, right? Mm-hmm. And when you think about the future, it creates feelings of anxiety. So really the only place to truly flourish in is the here and now and the present. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. I think you've said that 37 times. Yeah. And I'll say it. 37 more I'm going to start calling you guys out on the things you repeat. You know, when I was a kid, uh, mm-hmm. Joe, you've said you know? that too. Yeah. I'm out of stories. <laughs> podcast over. <laughs> I got nothing left, fellas. Oh, nothing guys. left. I got something interesting I came across the other day. Oh, no. <laughs> God. No. It's really listen, man, people are just trying to start their weekend plans, bro. I know. Listen to this, wanna... everybody who's starting their weekend plans. <laughs> Mold this over for the weekend. Mold this over. They, were, they did an experiment. Okay. okay. A with, mold experiment? With rats. Said, mold no, this they over? Did it, they, oh, you said mold this over. Mold this over. I thought you were like, mold this over. Oh, and they did an experiment, speaking of mold. And it just Joe. molded over. Yep. Uh, no, um, so they did this experiment with rats, okay? And they put rats into a tub of water. Okay. And they wanted to see how long they could swim before they would give up and drown. At about the 15-minute mark. What the hell are you talking yeah, about? It's a scientific, scientific story. Actually, they I didn't know this experiment. They didn't let the rats die. They didn't, no. Let's hold your no. horses here. I'd they didn't the let last... people die until they did with humans. Exactly. I'd be the last person <laughs> to be telling the story if they were just killing the rats. But Nobody wants to kill a, a rat. Very, this is a very interesting story. They, so they put the rats in the tub of water. Rat love. At about the 15-minute mark, <laughs> all the rats started to bob and start to go into the water, and they'd have to pull them out because they were right, going to drown. Right, right. They gave him now. Keep this in mind. They only but gave one him a, super rat. They only gave him. They only <laughs> gave them. Listen, this, this was is, able to outlast the others, and he had a cape, and he bit the lab technician. Oh my, Rat gosh. Man! Oh god, the rat's name was Splinter. Okay, <laughs> okay oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. So they All put right. the rats into the, the the tub of water. Fifteen minutes, they're about to drown. Pull them out. Now remember, they just don't. They just swam to exhaustion and almost went under. Right. They gave him a couple minutes rest. They put them back in the water. Oh. In the water. They wanted to see if now what? Four minutes, five minutes, maybe ten minutes. Sounds like Guantanamo Bay, Maybe, right? <laughs> Do you know how long they swam? Uh, sixty hours. What? Sixty hours. That's cruel. They swam for sixty, 60 hours. Hours. Do you know what the difference was between the fifteen minutes and the sixty hours? Uh, desperation. No. no. Um, hope. Hope. A new hope. Once they'd been rescued, they understood that if they were, if they swam, they're about to drown, that maybe they'd get rescued. That's so they actually swam really brilliant. and swam and swam and swam. Wow. That's the power of your mind. Well, there's no Over doubt the about that. We have an extremely powerful mind. Incredible, we, don't use huh? it. We, we don't ever use it, I feel. Mm. And how about this little wow. experiment? This is another one that really, really gets me. Well, can I react to that one first? No, no, no. Oh, no. We're going right into the next one. Right, right into the next one. How about that, Joe? Okay, next story. <laughs> oh, God. All Check right. this one out. He story wants to get them all out before he forgets them. I know, I know. <laughs> it's story very true. time. Story time. Story time. I just all read right. my notes. I got three things to say. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Rats drowning hope. Next. <laughs> three, three... Uh, glass, three blind mice. Three glasses sitting on a on a three on little a table. squirrels sitting on a fence. You know that old nursery rhyme. Each have a tablespoon of rice in them, with adding a half a glass of water to it. Wait, all start three over. The Time same. out. Start Wait, over. Three glasses on the table. Okay. All with a tablespoon of rice. Okay. And a half a cup of water in each. White rice, rice and or mixed white? grain or what kind of doesn't matter. Wild rice. Jasmine. Well, let's, let's just go with a wild. Rice, wild right? rice, and I whatever. Well, it rice. does take wild rice a little bit longer to absorb Doesn't matter. the water. It Doesn't matter the type of uh, rice, right? Okay, That's just the ahead. median. It could be any type of rice, as long as it's the same rice. Could it be a bean. The same water and the same glass. Could we substitute on the same table with the same exact environment? Could okay. we? Su- there are okay. no variables. We can't substitute okay. a grain of rice for a bean. No. no. The only variable is that the scientist who was doing this experiment went up to the first glass and said, "I hate you." ignored the second glass, and then to the third glass, I know you guys are laughing. I know you guys are laughing. But this is the crazy, this is the crazy outcome no, of this I'm not, I'm not thing. laughing at the, at the- Went to the glass, the, and the first one said, I hate you. The second one skipped, skipped and didn't say anything at all, so neglect. Rice. Hold on, yeah. Okay, remember we talked about this, right? Neglect, and then the third one. Yeah, but the, okay, so it's, finish it's your story. love, ne- uh, wait, hate, neglect, and then the third one, he said, I love you. And he genuinely would say, I love you. He genuinely would think about something he hated yep. when he did with the first class. And he genuinely would just skip over and not think about that second ignore, class. Ignore the second one. Okay. Do you know Then the one that he said he hated, black mold grew. It turned black, corroded very quickly. The one he neglected had yellow and green molds and also went sour. The one he loved fermented and, and actually became alcohol. And turned into sake. And it got the whole village no. drunk. No, no. Again, the only variable 
the only variable was the was the actual Wait, emotion. Time out. That he was giving. Finish. Then we'll react to, to, to the three individual okay. glasses. Okay. The only variable. Okay. Okay. Let me. Can I? And by the way, that. It, that is also showing up here. in the experiment. I think I told you about with the rabbits. There you go. Where, wait, wait, wait. You don't just, just, no, you hold on. You're hogging the conversation. I was just going to say, there's a rabbit story that is the same principle. I think I've told it, though. It was the same principle that Matt was saying in the rice grain story, but I so, kind of prefer the rabbit story because the grain of rice turning into sake. Wait. I mean. Well, the, see, wait, so wait, the wait, rabbit's so, the same thing. So you have rabbits. What all kind of sake? Same rabbits Hot or cold? In a cage. Is it milky? For scientific experiment, but not underneath this scientific experiment, right. all fed the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Two batches the of rabbits. rabbits. Weren't, they were experimenting drugs hold to on, see if they could cure for human testing. Uh -huh. I wish right? I told this story. In these, in these rabbits. Uh -huh. I would have told I told better. you this story first. Well, I would have made it better. So, Can you guys shut up? So, my God. Matt's been talking for 30 part, minutes. Right? It's all okay, the, man. It's a week off for all us. The rabbits weren't, <laughs> all the rabbits weren't being healed from yeah. this medication that they were testing for humans. Okay. Weren't healing the rabbits. Weren't healing the rabbits. All of a sudden... One rabbit starts get is healed and does better than all the other rabbits. And they're like, wait a minute. We finally found the one variant of the drug that works. That works. Right? Yeah. No. That rabbit had become a favorite of one of the keepers. And when the keeper fed the rabbit, instead of throwing the food in the cage, he actually petted him and gave him some love while he ate it. And the love was the variable that cured the rabbit, not the drugs. And it's the same... That's Andy's right. It's the same outcome from that experiment. It's your intention of emotion yeah, yeah. that is actually but the healing property here's, in this yeah. in the experiment. Here's the thing that escapes me though is that the, I mean the rice. I mean I mean the, the like the rice knew it was loved. Mm -hmm. Rice was like, hey, this guy loves me. Yeah, the rice is made up of of cells and energy just like you are. And he knew that if it turned itself into sake, it no, would it be. No, it didn't turn itself into sake. I'm just saying it fermented. It fermented sake. and had a beautiful color to it and had. So basically, what it is is, right? Beautiful color. It's life that affects, that is affected by the emotion so much yeah. because it's the bacteria that was growing on right. the rice right. that color. was that was greatly affected by the emotion well, that the scientist was giving. You can laugh. If you are loved, it absolutely Same does thing. give you hope. Absolutely. Like, they're, Love, you know, a little bit of encouragement. What do they say? Just a little bit of encouragement can change someone's life. They say all that. Person. What, what do they say? I mean, I've heard so many stories by some of the greatest humans that have ever existed. Some like, of the greatest you know, philosophers no, of all time. No, some of the greatest humans that have ever ex existed, which are the men and women in our armed forces that that put their lives in the line every day. And and you've heard stories from World War One and World War Two and the Korean War and, and Vietnam and like, that that these that these amazing heroes that are injured in the line of duty. On the battlefield, before they're rescued, when they're bleeding out, they're thinking of of their of their loved ones. They're thinking of the love and keeping. I've I've heard so many testimonies where they say what what kept me alive allowed the yes, uh, allowed right, the team Joe. to come get me. It was yep. I thought about getting home. I yes, thought about the love 100%. of my family. 100%. And, and the ones that didn't have that perished. You know, and, and 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 there's a difference. You know, so that the power of love is real for sure. Anything that is living, anything is. Greatly affected by emotion, right? Just as powerful of love, just as powerful as hate. And I actually, I think it comes. What about of, disappointment? I think it comes. Well, it's in there as well. I think, I think it actually is sort of. See, this is where science and religion, in my opinion, have a complete intersection. Perfect. Check, please. Because Perfect. the same. Oh, that's that's a shame, dude, for me to hear you say that. Actually, no. That kind of worries me. Oh my you're, god! You're, you're you're checking out on a conversation about religion and science. Why would you check out? I'm just scared of what you're going to say next. No, uh. this is the beautiful. This is like these are these these intersections between science and religion. To me, are where you get yeah, those the human rare, experience. No, you get those rare glimpses where okay, there's got to be fact here. When we've got science and religion pointing to the same thing, right? How can anybody deny that? You know what I mean? Right. So. Right. It's the same thing. You love like the moon landing. Love is no, is 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 spiritually is spiritually elevation. Whatever right. you want to want to think of it. Right. And hate is spiritual devaluation. Of so course. it's either heaven and hell, of course. God and the devil, whatever you want. No doubt about it. Those are the principles right. of now science and religion. And I love when that happens, when you get like a crossover between the two. Yeah. Because I think that they're actually one and the same, searching for the same answers, the same questions, you know. Right. So for me, and there's this amazing theoretical physicist who actually turned to um, theology mm -hmm. in Australia, and he all he does is search. His whole life is now dedicated to searching for those intersections wow. between okay. religion and science. So cool.
I well, love. I'm fascinated. There are several by that of them, and, and 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 it is very interesting to see when those paths cross because because for me, I'm a deck. I'm a dichotomy of that. Like my whole persona is a complete dichotomy of science and religion. Mm -hmm. They're both very powerful inside me. Sometimes they butt heads. Yeah. And sometimes eternally I have a struggle. As but, when, to, but when there's a symbiotic when relationship, there's this, it feels good. I, it's right. almost like this the lightning in a bottle type of a moment right. for me. Right. I love it. Right. Anyway, okay. Andy thinks it's funny. Wow. No, he, he doesn't. He's mm -hmm. asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Or sleep, or or boring. Yeah, yeah. either bore. How boring. Read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't this on tape somewhere? Yeah, see, this is a good thing. It. This is a good thing. If 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 we all found the same things interesting, then we wouldn't be interesting. It's the fact that we all find things differently. Yeah. That we like. I agree. That I think makes our conversations interesting. I agree, and I'm not yawning because what you're saying is boring. <laughs> you I'm not. Guys are I'm such not. Ass. No, I'm not. I'm not. Both I swear of you. God, that was a genuine. My lord. No, I prefaced Put it by saying. Put my heart on my sleeve. I'm and not you guys yawning. Just come by I was, and do one of those little. What are those little dolls that um, you use with? Uh, remember when the oh stab oh in uh, Indiana Jones yeah, and Temple what of is Doom that doll called? Uh, oh my come gosh. on, uh, Sam. What's the name of that voodoo doll? Voodoo doll. Voodoo doll. You just I put Thank my heart you. on my sleeve and you use it like a voodoo doll. Come stick little pins in it. Remember that from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh my gosh. Anyone? Anyone? Something. Something so great. Voo voodoo economics. So great. Oh my gosh, that movie was so brilliant. Um, that shot to when he turns around at that guy. Anyone? Anyone? Oh my god. Because it was just a little up and a little so off good. center. So it, it like visually told also what that. It was so perfect. The blend of the framing and that guy's performance. Hands perfect. down, Ferris Bueller is is definitely one of my favorite movies. Oh yeah, it's I great, absolutely. Man. This movie never gets old. Mm -mm. You know what I attest like a great movie to? Dude, it's it's honestly. Da, One that just da, doesn't get da, old. As he jumps over the fence, the perfect oh timing of those and it's two to dun 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 It's so good. The is is a movie that you can watch over and over again. And it just never ages. It never gets boring. Like the like and I'll go on the record saying this, and again, people might hate me for it. I can't watch Titanic again. I can't do it. I've seen it twice or three times. I just like I I can watch moments moments, but You're I can't right, watch actually. the whole movie. I'm like, oh, I just don't want to see this again. Not that it's not incredible. Oh, the movie is incredible. It's beautiful. It's incredible. But I just don't want to watch it. I However, Ferris Bueller, I it's, literally could watch that movie it's true. over and over and over again. It's true, and I enjoy it thoroughly no, every right. time. No, you're so, right. Jo. I'm anyway. actually with you on that. Yeah, I think it's because. Titanic is almost a little bit of work. It's so much work. It's almost a little bit of work now. Yeah. It's like you gotta. It's like yeah. Well, yeah. One's a three and a half hour historical love story, and the other one's an hour and a half comedy. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah, I think. But it's also saying the same. But they're thing, apples Andy. and oranges. They're both fellas. executed no, no, perfectly. Apples and oranges. Oh, Andy. I mean, how do you even? You make kind of makes me think of that picture right behind Joe on his shoulder with Joe, and you have that yellow thing. That's Andy right now. Nobody can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apples and oranges, Joe. Yeah. Well, That's I right. mean, I think I'm correct. I think I'm correct, Joe. Oh, oh no. God. You're into it. What are comes you, a little walk-in, little depth? Oh, Whenever gosh. Andy gets full of himself, no, he brings geez. in some personality. You guys are ridiculous. We, you just literally, it was, it was actually Chris Walken. No. You're like, I know. I think I'm correct. <laughs> I think I'm correct, Joe. Joe. Joe, I think I'm correct. Joe. Yeah, movies. Let me tell you about this movie. Yeah, one's a comedy. Something did you, did you see Christopher Walken's the, the interview when they asked him, how How do you do, how do you give these uh, performance yeah. ideas? He says, take a script. I, uh, I remove all the punctuation. He has somebody remove all the punctuation. I read, when I read my script. He doesn't read a script. The punctuation. Sure. He takes it out. No so he can put his own, and that's how he gets that oh, cadence. Points. He's like, no, I'm going to comma here. Period. Here. Yeah. Nice. An exclamation here. Nice. Crazy, right? That's, That's how he does so it. Good. He takes out all punctuation. And you know, so I, good. I heard this too. I didn't even know this was a thing. Other actors take out all the script, um, like all the, you know, the, 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 the action. That? The act, but the yeah, the know, description. The yeah, descriptions in the script. What is that part called? Action. We've only been doing this. I know for it's the action, years. but I know parentheticals. What? There it is, the parentheticals. Right again. It takes all that out. Our brain, Sam. <laughs> Sam, what's pi? <laughs> <laughs> Three point one four one five nine. This guy knows everything. Oh. No, you were saying the parentheticals. The oh yeah. So they take the those out. So yeah. They take those out because they just want to have the dialogue without it breaking it up. So again, they don't have a preconceived notion right. of what that was supposed to be so that right. they're not dictating. He picks up the knife. laughing at everything I say. I'm, I'm What's going on? Like literally everything I'm today. Not, he picks Jesus, up the knife. Matt, no, little, no, no, but just when, when you're not- sensitive when you're over, over no, here. Not sensitive, when, when you have your brother over your shoulder, uh, every time you're talking, I hear- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like literally, it's been going on for twenty well, minutes now. So if you got something to say, say it. And he takes it to the next level. He's like, "What do you mean? I'm not doing anything." No, when you're trying to talk and you got someone over your, you know, over your shoulder going like this, <laughs> loser, loser. <laughs> Much freak. I don't know what it's about though. Because Idiot. I gotta look at Joe. See if you were in my oh line my of sight, I would maybe know. No. Morons. But I got no idea what's going I'm not on. Saying anything. Let's play the tape back. He said four <laughs> morons, three losers, like, two what's, idiots. What's going on exactly? <laughs> well, I just want to know. Yeah. Oh. Whenever I hear parenthetical, I think of. I, I probably told the story. Hey, that before. was once. But what were the other four? That's it. Uh, when I hear parenthetical, I think of. You know, a parenthetical is like a description that's supposed to dictate the line afterwards. So it's it's like you know. Excited or exhausted or angry. Your eyes are watering. Because it's so are. funny. He's and I think of this story, and it's nothing. I mean, this actor, I've worked with him actually. He's a really nice guy, but I, I, in the heat of the moment, he read the parenthetical out of his dialogue. And you could go on YouTube and research it, but it's yeah, Kevin it's Sorbo. And he's got this line no, no. where he's he 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 steps into this he, in Hercules, he steps into the world, oh, and he goes, no. he goes, What is this world? Disappointed, <laughs> <laughs> and no, it is disappointed was, was how they wanted him to oh say gosh. it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh it my is god. he's one Ron of the, Burgundy. One of the funniest uh, things. Much, exactly so I exactly so I apologize. But my, my, my laughter, well worth it. It's making me laugh. My, now I just too. As, every time I hear that, I think of that video and I see him That's screaming funny. disappointed, and it cracks what me up. This world, what is disappointed? <laughs> oh my god! So funny. That is genius. It is unbelievable. So that funny. is genius. That is so Check it out, everybody. Kevin it literally Sorbo. is Ron Burgundy. What, did, what, did, what a name, Kevin Sorbo. Sorbo. Yeah. I did a movie. Is that his actual last name? Or is it a stage? Oh, almost died. Oh my god. Ah. Stage name. Sorbo. 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 <laughs> it's like it's like yeah. you start slowing it down. I, it's, it's almost really like weird. his sore elbow, but right, they just right. took out the L. Sorbo. Yeah. Sorbo. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> uh I don't know, but that's really funny. Do you that guys do you ever what are some movies that have blown your minds? What? Like mind blowing. Now movies. you sound a little like oh um gosh. blown your minds. A little like I don't know, like weird Malkovich spacey vibes or something. Blown your minds. <laughs> my, my my name is John Malkovich. That's good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's getting not there. bad. It's getting there. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yes. Yeah. My my name is John Malkovich. Pretty good. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. It's like we it's are as they here <laughs> today. <laughs> To talk on this podcast with my two brothers that I can barely stand. That's good. Right? It's really good. It's not That's great. Uh, it is good. Um, what do you mean? Movies that have what? Blown us away? Yeah. Movies that have blown me away? Okay, I, mean, I, got, I had a couple. I, I know one. Highly underrated. I was just talking about this. The Impossible. You ever seen it? Um, it actually is a great movie. Totally, I think Tom Holland's for some reason unbelievable. This movie, no, it's not in the zeit. Like people don't talk about it. It's one of the greatest natural disaster movies ever made. It's like fifteen years old. Everything holds up, and so it's young Tom Holland. Old. Oh, dude, he's like a kid, like oh. a little kid, like maybe 13, 12. He's like a little baby. Oh yeah, Tom Holland honestly should have been nominated for. Oh my gosh, he was he was amazing. He was an unbelievable. Everybody was amazing, but unbelievable I'm you, the, the director, unbelievable. His attention to detail because oh. he didn't have the the tools available to him back then right. to make that movie hold up. Like, is there you, a lot you, of CGI in it? Is you that should, why? You, well, what is it? Is it about a natural it. disaster? You've you never said, right? seen true it. Story. It's on, I think it's on Netflix right dude, now. You gotta or watch it. You gotta okay. watch it, dude. Okay. It's a true story about a family that was in Phuket when the tsunami wiped out. Oh, oh. Joe, you gotta watch it. It's giving me chills right now because when you watch oh, it, dude, it's so thinking good. this movie is fifteen years old, and you're gonna realize, oh my you know, gosh, this director was so good that. Yeah. He didn't allow any he he must have watched every frame and just gone, no, nah, that just doesn't work with the CGI. It's gotta be, it's gotta look real. Any frame that's gonna take you out of this movie, he got rid of because he didn't have the tools. I don't know how he made this movie look this good. You just gotta go Dude, watch they, it. Well, uh, they, a lot incredible. of it, I think the story, the way the sound design, the way they captured what it's like. I know I've been trapped underneath uh, the water before in a wave. <laughs> I've been in a tsunami. No, 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 what are you talking tsunami, about? I've been trapped. I've been trapped. I've been in that situation where you're in the, the wash and you yeah. can't get out. They nailed the sound. They nailed the feeling of it. Even the way they opened the movie, Joe. I can't say enough about this. So movie. just so you know, I love this movie. A lot of it isn't CGI. If I remember yeah, correctly, they did a lot of real he stuff. actually they flooded a, 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 like the pool, yeah. and they, it, the way they shot it was brilliant. Yeah, it's unbelievable. But that is, I mean, at least. There are some CGI. I mean, you'll see. There's some shots that they just couldn't do. 
But even them, they they work, dude. It's it's shocking. And like better than honestly, better than some Marvel movies where they had an unlimited budget to make that CGI perfect, it blows some of their work out of the water. Okay. And that's no pun intended. All right. Uh, but that it's really wild, dude. Like blown I, away. Anyway, sorry to go on a on a dive trap, but I feel like that one and Children of Men are incredibly underrated movies. Children of Mem? Men. Oh. <laughs> me mem. 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 Children of Mem? Mem? Did I say that? Mem? You were like Children of Mem. <laughs> children of Mem? Like Mem from Sword in the Stone? <laughs> You've caught, caught me, me, Mem! Um, uh, the, the, the evil witch yeah, who goes uh, against Merlin? Uh, children of Men, another like, wow. It really, right. just, right. these are these, these movies I, I really Strawberry love. Cough. Yes. Ah. Uh, Michael Caine. Michael uh, Caine. Michael Caine was amazing in the movie. My name I mean, the whole, the is Michael Caine. And I'm telling you, there's drinking brandy. There, that the the Children of Men. Don't, it's a theory. Do it. It's a plausible theory. Don't you do it. as to where human the human race could be. In well, another, bury another Batman. 150, 100 years. It's Michael really wild. Caine. Maybe even sooner than that. But it's it's plausible. Like you can actually see this this actually happening. It's I love it. I, I love that movie. Children oh, of Men and the Impossible. I'm Try them. Check them out. Just because they're weekend. a little off. Like, they're just not talked about enough, in my opinion. I know. I know. They're just not. Yeah. You know what right. else? Another one I Movies. love that's a little offbeat that I... What? But this is an old one now. Yeah. Wolf with Jack Nicholson. I like Wolf. <laughs> Wolf? <laughs> Wolf's a good one. Wolf's a good when one. When he's driving that car. <laughs> I just love the way he <laughs> slow motion jumps up on that rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then goes... <laughs> I love yeah. it. Isn't my, favorite, my favorite thing is when he's laying there... <laughs> <laughs> and she a... goes, do you want something? And she goes, some scrambled eggs. And he goes, bacon. Oh, God. <laughs> he has yellow eyes. Don't his yeah, eyes turn so yellow cool. in that? Yeah. I love that one as a kid. Michelle Pfeiffer, right? Yeah. I had a huge crush on her after that movie. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I feel like it's a therapy session for you, Matt. What? No, I'm kidding. No, Why? you're right. I had a huge crush on her. Getting back to the children of Mim. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so children of men and the impossible. Yeah. Those are your two. Andy, what, what, what movies blew you away? The movies that I remember seeing in the theater that really stood out, the the first one, well, I guess I'll go in order from least to greatest. Oh, God, um, with the accent. Um, Three Kings was one of them. Hey, oh, great reference. That, that is the a theaters. fabulous I, that, um, that's a, I remember on going to see it because I went to go see this other movie with my friends, and I couldn't. we missed it, or it was R, and I was underage, and the theater was being weird, and they wouldn't let me in, even though... I watched Species when I was five years old. Um, the first one? Oh yeah, I've seen them all. That was and then borderline Natasha, soft porn. Na Natasha Henstridge Hen turned out to be our neighbor for yes, a while. Yes, it was so um, weird. I anyway, that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> well, no, because was real weird. You see this lady walk around the neighborhood and you're like, that's so weird, I've seen her naked. It's God, strange. Oh, God, anyway, so Three Kings, that was a really good one. And then Great. the movie that I was going to see that night uh, that I wasn't allowed to see, I later saw in the theater, which also blew my mind, which was Spawn. No. <laughs> Actually, I like Spawn. Uh, with, uh, with uh, what's Spawn? that guy? You did, guy? You did a movie I didn't with, like didn't? Spawn. Who? Didn't you do a movie with that guy? Michael... Michael J. White. Michael J. White? I yeah. did. I did. I, Pandora's I had a, yeah. Box or something? I didn't like... Anyway, was Spawn the one with uh, Tom Hardy? No. no Tom, no. that would be awesome. That's Venom. But, Venom. I didn't like but Venom. But Tom Hardy as Spawn would be I love insane. Tom Hardy. Yeah. I hated Venom, Venom actually. Venom wasn't that great. I hated it. But finish what you were going to say. The, the, the comedic timing. They were trying to make him like a dark comedy thing. It, it wasn't didn't good. work. I didn't So the either, but... other movie that really blew my mind in the theater was Fight Club. Oh, oh that my one really gosh. Was Great reference. David Fincher. Awesome. Seven. And oh then my gosh. the last, uh, the, the, the most impactful experience I've had in a the theater of a movie that I just wasn't expecting that really like just blew the stocks off, uh, Matrix. Oh. The first Matrix was. The first was, Matrix, you're right, in. Unbelievable! It was unbelievable. I mean, it was, I just was not expecting that movie. Again, another. I was not expecting the Wachowskis the to pull off what they pulled off. I mean, that 360 camera stuff, Trinity, and that whole action, the opening action sequence, it was really revolutionary. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. I honestly, that was going to be on my list, The Matrix, because it just yeah, it's mind blowing when you watched it oh, in the yeah. theater. That was incredible. Is as and I have to say as. As you know, as interesting visually as Avatar was, I think Matrix was more impactful than Avatar. Oh, well, the for first me, Avatar. Personally. Yeah, the first Avatar. No, I love what he accomplished. It was groundbreaking, but I'm saying it was groundbreaking in terms of your visuals, okay? No mm -hmm. doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But but to Andy's point, the Matrix was groundbreaking for the way it was shot. Uh -huh. It was you had yeah. never seen no, you're right. these three sixty. I mean, yeah, shots. as mu as as much as I love James Cameron, because I really do love oh my him. God, he's like James top, top, is, oh, top, yeah. top, 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 dude. He dude, is true lies Aliens, is one of the best. True lies, Terminator 2. Like okay. these movies oh. are untouchable. But um 
I I would choose Matrix over Avatar. If I had like stuck on me an too. island, you could only watch one movie. Me too. Me too. I, yeah. Me too. Me There's yes. one movie. Me, me too. Okay, guys. Yeah. The Abyss. Yeah, The Abyss is great. Oh, Ed Harris. Now great wait. Movie. Do you know Ed Harris? Uh, uh, no, sorry, James Cameron. Yeah, you know, he that. kind of revolution, like kind of started the whole CGI thing with that water. Yes, mm -hmm. that was like mm -hmm. one of the first. Yeah. major mm -hmm. CGI effects that worked in a yeah. movie, period. Yeah. And that was spearheaded by Cameron. No, so no, Cameron. He started, brilliant. like, he actually started it, kind of, you know, and then... I'm more talking about it was the convergence of the CGI in Matrix. It was the whole package. Let's but just it say was, that. Yeah, the it was, and also, it was un how they shot well, that And stuff. it was also unexpected. Yes. When you're going to see Avatar by James Cameron, right, the bar right. is you're already right. so high 100 that man. it's it's almost impossible. I mean, it's it's a spectacular it's a spectacular feat that he even surpasses his own bar over and over and over. You're right, Andy. Right. But the Matrix, you just didn't know no, did what not. you were signing up for, and the story, and the take, and everything, and yep. even the performances, which as crazy. And kind of, they were really wonderful. I mean, um, everything was great. It was really just well done. Was excellent. Everything was wonderful. It was really great. What about you, Joe? You haven't answered the question. Movies to me, I mean, I don't know. You know, uh, movies hit me differently. I mean, look, The Matrix was going to be on my that's list. Mine, that's mine, so I take know, it off. I know. All right. But I would say, so for me, i probably go a different way. Like, um, you know, I'll never forget, um, going back to when I was a little kid, like, um, you know, watching uh, Top Gun. Because mm. that... I had never seen aerial footage shot like that. Mm -hmm. It was so yeah. impactful to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just was blown away. I remember sitting there and the, the, from the POV of Maverick and Goose in that jet, yeah. you had never seen no. footage like Tony Scott directed in that mm -hmm. movie. Mm -hmm. So that to me as a little kid, I was blown away mm -hmm. by the way Top Gun. Um, you know, on, on another side of things, and, and again, you know, comedy is a very different beast. But Sorry, in, I got to inter interrupt. Yeah. I always, you just reminded me of something. I always wanted to see this. Tony and Ridley Scott. I always wanted to see them. Oh, work together. together. That'd be because amazing. Because I think that they would have made better movies. That would have been amazing. Together yeah. and individually. And they were so talented. Yeah, if they could have cool. worked together, their movies would, we would be talking about their movies, I think, yeah. in the same categories of a James Car at all. I think they would be right. up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, it's I, funny. Well, you can. You can. What You're right. Talk you can. Whoa. Well, yes. I was say, hold what? on a minute. But can you imagine them heck? together? Whoa. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you imagine so them together? for me, also another really impactful movie wow. was just because of the film, and again, I was just about how it worked. I loved I loved Back to the Future because oh, amazing. that movie was Dude. so impactful to me. Huge. I'll never forget. The dream of it, too, yeah. is just the most That's what it was. It's spot the wish on dream. Oh wish fulfillment for everybody, me. Uh, everybody feels that. I was able to see, and I, I know I've said this story to you guys. Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, but everything from the music and you know all that stuff. But, but I was filming Give Me a Break at the time. And the stage manager, Jeff Myers, oh, I okay, him. with the Corvette, he had a Corvette. <laughs> he had a nineteen. 19- I remember because you loved the car. Joe would always yeah, talk about he had this a Corvette. Nineteen seventy-eight. Of course he did. Baby blue Corvette. Yeah, I remember yes, with dude. the T-tops. Was so I dope. remember. Anyway, so he was such a cool dude. And the crazy thing is, is that Andy, you're thirty-five, right? He was younger than you. Oh my goodness! But he was to me. I was, was such a like a. I yeah, was nine old years old. Guy. I was nine years old, and yeah. he was probably thirty-three. Wow! And he was such an. He mm. was such a. He, his his girlfriend. I remember her name was. Uh, oh God, I can't remember her name, but she had this really really she electrica like, rose. She looked like what? no. She looked her like her name was. She looked like, like electrica um, rose. She looked like uh, 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 what's her face in uh, Days of Thunder. Um, oh yeah 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 yeah. She had this curly. I remember. Oh incredible Nicole hair. Nicole Kidman. Right? Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Yes she did. Her name was I want to say like Siobhan. Nick. Her name to those was either who know her. her neither her name was either her Siobhan Nikki. or something like what? this. But she had red hair. But it was either Siobhan or something like this. Anyway she was so nice. Regardless. Did you just describe her hair color as Siobhan? No no her name was Siobhan I believe. But mm, regardless no. mom would know. But regardless. I think it was Siobhan Joe you're right. Might have been. The Cinerama Dome was, which is very famous in Hollywood, and is now currently shut down. It shut down. So the sad. So sad. It sucks. But there's been several the attempts to reopen. Theater. Tarantino they calling you out. Buy Tarantino it. Tarantino owns movie theaters, but this is the buy one. the cine. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure if you, if you're here out in the West Coast, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's literally like half of Epcot. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure that's Tarantino's top favorite half of Epcot, or was his favorite theater. I'm sure too. it is. So why doesn't he buy it? It's iconic. I don't know, but guys. Maybe one day we'll buy it. I bet you there's something um, in there that I think I saw once upon a time there. Did you? Once upon a time. That's in the last movie I saw there. Possible. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so uh No, yeah, I did. So 
it was. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I it did. looks like. It's, <laughs> you guys shut up. It looked like the Sorry. top half of Epcot. Okay, and 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 in its in its heyday, which hopefully it'll come back again. It was. I mean, it was the place to see movies. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was premieres. Cool. Everything was there. So it was cool. He knew I was a car guy. We talk about cars, right? I right. was a little kid. I talk, I loved his car. And I'll never forget, after work, an early day after work, we were out like around 2.30, run mm -hmm. through on one of the days, and he asked mom if he could take me across the street to see Back to the Future. He said, because the DeLorean was parked wow. in the lobby. Oh. And he said, I'd love to let Joey see the DeLorean. Oh, okay? my goodness. So he took me across the street. Wow. Dude. And the original show car was in the lobby. I'll never forget. It had roped off, but I was able to look in it with the flux capacitor and everything. Wow. And we got a popcorn and a Coke. I saw Back to the Future oh, on dude, 180 degree angle. That's screen. so cool. I'm sure oh, that just absolutely. Oh, with those flames. Dude. Oh, and he hit 88 miles. I'm getting bum, chills. Bum, he hit 88 miles an hour. Back in time. Oh, dun, 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 what an era. Back those, in time. Era those movies, flames. man. Dun, 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 are you telling me this is nuclear? Marty, let's go. Precisely, Marty. Come on, Marty. And he hit 88. Right, and those flames one. went. And he he vanished. Yeah. And that license plate was, dude. Yeah. Christ, it was, Scott. It was <laughs> so good. It was the coolest oh, thing. Yeah, man. I've, and that was one of the most impactful oh, yeah. movies that I've ever seen. I mean, I was blown away. My mouth, I think, was open the entire film. I was like, I cannot believe I'm watching. That was nine. And I'm I sure you did because it had a car in it and everything. I know you're going to say. That was the same moment I had in Jurassic Park. Da, 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 da. When he, when they saw the dinosaur, okay. that was my moment. They in life, do run in herds. Where I literally stood up because yeah. my body I couldn't, and I was a shy kid. I didn't stand up in the middle of a theater. Yeah. I mean, dude, I so I'll never forget that. It's my list. You totally jumped my shark. I'm actually gonna cry. You jumped my shark because what that actually changed my, my life. That movie. Completes my list was is, oh, is two right. films for different reasons. So you got Top Gun. Jeez. Back to the Future. Yeah, Jurassic Park's got to okay. be on my list. Jurassic is. Park is on my list, which yeah. is you jump my shark, because I remember yeah, vividly watching. Talk about oh CGI oh, dude. with oh animatronics. Gosh. We had never seen no, that plan. Dude. Seen and that what ever. Spielberg was able to accomplish that, in that oh movie. Oh, my that goodness. That is T-Rex head. Oh, Literally. Oh, when the, I mean, dude. I, oh, my. Dude, the iconic moments, the water jiggling in the car. <sighs> Do you know, know how they created that moment? The puddle. Oh. I mean, Do you know they created the that moment? Right, in the puddle. Have you ever seen the uh, the production design uh, guy, uh, guy talk about that? Mm -mm. They were like, no matter how hard I had a drum, I was stomping. I couldn't figure out how to get that perfect vibration on the water, right? Until he figured out he was playing the guitar. He was a guitar player, and he was playing the guitar, and he looked over, and his glass of water was doing it. So he put a, the biggest guitar string in the door of the Jeep. And on the other side, he's going, bow. Bow. That's so cool. Playing the guitar string, and that's what makes the water do oh, that. Wow. That's awesome. How that's really, cool is that? That's, awesome. that's really awesome. Talk about really the ingenuity cool. yeah. to create movies, and, huh? And another impactful moment for me, which again, it's so funny because- Is some, this another movie? One more. So you're adding some, four? Some comedy- You can't just have two. That's so presumptuous. Comedy, I, I said three, you named two, and then I'm added Jurassic four. Park. I'm doing four because- I love all these, by the way. they're for different reasons. No, they, I love all of them. Hold on. The first two that I said, these were more offbeats. These aren't like, I would have said, if you're going for like, what's your favorite of all time, like big ones, I would have said Jurassic Park. We started out going like, what's something that- Blew started, your mind. That blew my mind that wasn't really out as much what? known. Yeah, I never wrinkle. said that. I didn't hear the wrinkle of what was the, not known. The, you just my brain that. was wrinkled. The, that's something new. They no, just added Yeah, I did. My the brain esoteric, was wrinkled. Esoteric, it was yeah. totally- Sorry, that was me. I was thinking that Apparently, all Apparently, you put the, that's not known in parentheticals. You're right, yeah. Joe. I think you put that in the yeah. parentheticals yes. and you read it. You I did. Kevin Sorbo. This and, is and not known. I, and then, and then <laughs> I- Disappointed. And then I omitted them. So right. you, you guys couldn't have known. Oh, right. true. Right, right. Uh, omit this. No, you're not supposed to say that, Kevin. That's <laughs> that, that was a note for us. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. So, and, and this, by the way, this movie is it's funny because it meant something to us. It, the comedy, the comedy has changed so much. So a lot of it doesn't hit like it used to. But what hit for me is the memory of being in the theater with you guys watching it. Because oh. we had never oh. been in a movie theater. I know, when rolling down the aisles. We had never yeah. been in a movie theater. You, well, you have said this where, story before, but okay. Where people are literally. It's okay. Rolling out of their seats, yeah. down Greatest the aisles of the theater, for a comedic yeah. actor it ever, was, and it was Ace Ventura. Ace yeah. Ventura, baby. We had never seen that oh brand of God. comedy. It hit so hard in the nineties. Oh. But in the, we, literally, guys, half that movie we yeah. did not hear. No, you couldn't hear the it. The audience was Too laughing yeah. so bad. I had to see it again. People were dumping popcorn. Yeah, they were literally yeah. falling into yeah. the aisles. You know what it looked like? It looked like an SNL skit. It did. That's what it looked like. It did. I remember seeing there's going. 
this looks like or like or like the, the, the gremlins had taken I over know. the movie yeah. I, I'll, I'll never like, forget it what yeah. is going on a popcorn yeah. are, everybody was laughing a and crying and falling yeah. into the into uh, the yeah. Yeah. Was was falling I out specifically remember dad's laugh oh my god dad like, oh my god yeah yeah like <laughs> that stuff yeah. I know I know yeah. so that was so impactful to me yeah. I yeah. remember us coming out of that movie going we have, have to, to see, see it again it. I couldn't yeah. hear anything no because we missed half I know yeah. we, we we only got to enjoy half because so we were true. all laughing so much so true great so moments those are probably great. my great my, yeah. my moments. moments yeah you know, it's. I was sitting down with mom the other night. We were watching a movie, and it was had like some really moving scene, and we both got a little teared up. And you know, there's just nothing like movies. Nothing in any art form. Yeah. When when you get a really good movie that blends music, visuals, yeah. characters, emotions, yeah. I think it's the greatest art form yeah. on the planet. Well, yeah. it's. it's a, I don't think anything can really quite compete. It's, I think there's just magic. There's, it's, it's magic. There's something really magic. There's something really special about. Uh, a collective group of people Heck collaborating yeah. all for the same yeah. goal, which yeah. is to create, you know, the best version of that mm -hmm. art as possible. And when you do that and you have all those best efforts put together, it's it is it's really it's really special. And, and, and nothing makes me feel better than sitting in a packed house full of a bunch of different people from all, all over. Life, yes. All over right? the world that we don't. Everybody. Yep. And, when, and when you're sitting oh. in there, you're not thinking about anything you're not thinking about disagreements you may have you're not thinking about how you think about things you know you're about anything what you're sitting there is sharing the same thoughts dude, and enjoying a film you're and right that to me is really 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 powerful and, and i think that's why i'm so glad to see that movies made it through the pandemic and i know that streaming has tried to take away movies but it's all the and same I'm thankful to see that it's all movies the same can be still be enjoyed but in those houses sure but you know film, what but it, whether whether it's iconic a, whether it's a theater with 120 people or whether it's a living room with four it's the human ex it's the human experience yep. that's shared yep. by all of these people yep. and we're all on the same plane we're all feeling the same stuff yep. and it's just a reminder of that that yep. where we are really all connected and music and soundtracks i agree with you, I agree with you. However, but i do love movie theaters however there is one Love There's them. one aspect. It's a special thing. There's yeah. one aspect that you'll never be able to remove from that. The cl the energy of everybody in a room together. Go watch a football game. Sure. And be the only person in the stands. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right. It's something so special. Well, that's like, why you go. I mean, about and we're talking like guys. You can relate this on all walks of life, not just movies, but even like going to church. Well, of oh, course, sure. but it's that's like the same thing. But that's why when you get even a hundred people together thinking the same thing, but it, it elevates that experience. But that's why the much higher than any that, individual could ever experience. That's why I believe that the 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 theater going experience will live on. I and, hope so. And whether it's redefined so. with cushier chairs or interactive experiences so. or augmented reality or live yeah, bands right. and food and drinks or whatever yeah. it is, that connection. And that feeling yeah. is is really a, a, a prevalent, and people are going to want that, and they're going to and they're going to so and they're going to go out yes. for it, and they're going to buy tickets, and they're going to wind yes. up in a movie theater together. Top Gun, Maverick, and Barbenheimer. Yeah, but I mean Barbie Those, and Oppenheimer. Yeah, saved. I mean, I mean, yeah, saved people film. still absolutely will show up, and if they feel it's worth it, and how cool they is will. it? If you build it, they will come. Yes. If you make great movies, and they how, will go. And, how, and the tide is turning. We're finally getting away from the big. Superhero film that sure, has but, really nothing to do with humanity anymore, well, and it's just CGI and all. Look, any any market oversaturated is gonna you're gonna lead yeah, to, to right. a, a, a downgrade in quality. However, I just think we're really lucky and we're really cool to live in this time where you can find things on a streaming service where yeah. people do go to a movie theater. And sure, it's rocky because it's changed and it's evolving. But once it settles, once the pendulum swings back and everything kind of finds its it place, does, yeah, it which will. it will, because it does. It I think that it's gonna be it's gonna be the best of both worlds. No, yeah. it's really, it's and really we're there. great. And music we're right soundtracks, there. too. The music, the, the, Everything, the guys. orchestral Everything. soundtracks in films. I mean, how often do we do, mm. well, another great movie is The Rock with Sean Connery. Was amazing. Nick Cage. So much fun. Right? I mean, just incredible so movie. Much fun. Ed Harris was in that, yeah, too. Yeah, it's just a fun right? movie. Right? And when that, when at the end of that movie, if you've never seen The Rock, go see it or watch it, rent it. Forget Maui. Yeah. The Rock. I mean, it's an amazing movie, but you're ending it on it. Go see The Rock. <laughs> I mean, it is great. Oh my gosh. It is a great movie. I mean, dude, that movie oh, is touching. A lot has changed since then. I mean, <laughs> where is he? I want to see his body. Oh my God. Evaporated, sir. Vaporized. 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 Vaporized? <laughs> yeah. Vaporized. It was a great movie. All right, go see The Rock. It is really good. It's cool. a great movie. Honey, you want to know who shot JFK? <laughs> oh, it's so good. The, the wide yeah, POV oh, of so the good. little church. Hey, standing there. Guys, that's, that's oh, it, man.
That's it. That's an episode of no. the Brother Love Pod. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. You're, you're ending it? I'm ending it. What? You're ending it Call right it. now. Right now? Call it's it. like it's like right in the middle do, of the song. Do, 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 We're going to go out in the rock? Do, Let's go out in the rock. Do, 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 I'm fine with that, gentlemen. Do, 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 Have a great weekend, everybody. Do, 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 Thanks for joining the Brother Love Pod. Do, 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 do. We'll see you next week. Forget Maui. Forget Maui. Maui. Bye, guys. See Join later, the pod. Right. Let's have a great weekend. See you Love next you Friday the Brother Love Pod. Hey guys, the Lawrence Brothers here. We just want to thank you for watching this week's episode of the Brotherly Love Pod. Go to our link tree and subscribe on all platforms. And make sure you join us next week. week.